Hello, and welcome to the module on naming acids. The key to being able to name an acid is to know your polyatomic ions. If you know the polyatomic ions, the next step is to watch for the number of O's. And you really got to pay attention to that main ion, which everyone has the eight. That is kind of the anchor for the whole system. Why? Because notice that the anions here that are listed in this first column, they differ by the number of O's. They are each an oxo anion, and they differ in the number of O's. And when you look at the eight, whatever the eight is, one fewer O gives you the ite. Two fewer O's gives you the hypoite. And then additional O gives you the per and the eight. Okay? So that's when you get the per in there. That's for the anion names. Then to convert the anion names into the acid names, notice that in every case, gosh, this is easy. Once you know the anion name, it's really easy to go to the acid. Why? Because it's just it goes to us, H goes to ick. So it goes to O-U-S, and H goes to ick. So in all honesty, I think the harder part is trying to remember the anion name. Once you got that down, it's pretty easy to go over to the acid name. So let's do a few examples here. And for these first two examples, I'll leave that table in view. And when you're studying, you don't want to have the table in view because, well, that's cheating. How is that cheating? Well, it's cheating your brain. Your brain ain't working hard enough. So let's look at this, HBrO3. So the anion is BrO3 minus. I mentioned to you the harder part is naming that anion. So let's name it first, get the hard stuff out of the way. BrO3 minus. I see that Br is a halogen, just like chlorine. So it's going to follow the same trends. It's going to have a set of four uh, O possibilities, just like the Cl in our table above. And it's going to have brom as its root. And I see O3 for chlorine is an 8. That's going to be true for bromine, too, because they're in the same family. So this is the bromate ion. Oh, great. Now that I have my 8, it goes to ick. So it's bromic acid. Oh, not too bad. HiO4. Okay, let's see, IO4 minus, exactly, you're there already ahead of me. You know that it has the per. Oh, now it's going to be IO do is often what it is, but now I've got to make this an 8. So I'm going to erase the O so I don't have double vowels, and it's going to be peria, periodate. Oh, great, okay. So now I remove that 8 and make it ick. So, per iodic acid. Huh, not so bad. All right, let's do some more examples. HNO3, all right. This is NO3 minus. I know it's a minus one because there's only one H. N is not a halogen. Oh, so I had to memorize that one. NO3 minus, let's see, I memorized it as nitrate. That eight becomes ick. So it's nitric acid. Cool, I've heard of that one before. Nitric acid. What about nitrous acid? O-U-S. Oh, O-U-S. Well, let's see, that goes with nitrite. There we go. And nitrite is, sorry, don't get ahead of myself, N-O-2 minus. Oh, it only has one minus, so it only needs one H to negate that one minus. There we go. Ick, sulfuric. That's, Ick is eight, sulfate. So it's SO4, two minus, I need two H's, 